Well, how y'all doing on today? Well, praise God, somebody. Welcome on in and come on in to the Blessed Living Kitchen. <laughs> Blessed Living Channel Kitchen, somebody. Yes. Welcome, 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 y'all dear precious people. And welcome our new subscribers, our original subscribers, and yeah. just everyone. Welcome on in and come on in. Hallelujah. I tell y'all, we're going to be, um, I'm going to uh, be doing some, um, Roasted chicken and dressing and uh, some green beans on today. And so uh, it's a good time for it. So let's get started right now. I have already prepared my chicken breast. They're bone in. You can also use boneless. And um, these are the breasts. You use the pieces of the chicken you like. You can use all pieces of the chicken. I like the breast. And um, and I'm going, I've, I've skinned them. They're washed, they're clean. My hands are clean. I'm ready because I got to be ready to take off, y'all. I'm ready to just, what do you say, uh, uh, step on the floor running. <laughs> so I have some lorries here, and I'm going to start and season the chicken. Get some good seasoning in there. I got some garlic powder. Y'all know this is my favorite combination rubs. Garlic powder, lorries. They complement each other so well. Mm-hmm. I hope y'all doing good. We pray the blood of Jesus and just God's protection and peace today, y'all. Yeah, just a little pepper to give it that power, that boost, you know. Then I'm going to do it on the other side. Yes, and we've already prepared this and washed and skinned it and everything so that we didn't have to go through all that on the video so you all know that you always need to clean your meat and wash your hands and I wash my hands in between too yeah. just going along the way and so I'm going to get the other side seasoned Got some more of that garlic powder Garlic powder is less salty, but you get the real pure ground uh, uh, garlic. Mm -hmm. Some pepper and some good seasoning. Go over to the pan, precious. And I have my pan prepared with the water. You, anytime you're roasting, you have to have water. Y'all see how the level of water, not a full pan, because then you'll start drowning out the, but see, just enough water because you gotta roast the chicken in, or your meat, your steak, whatever. And I'm gonna season it with my lorries. The water has to be seasoned, because that's gonna be your base. My garlic powder. This, I'm making my same base that's on the chicken. There's my black pepper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start dropping in my chicken breast. And they shrink up so you know have them just enough. You see how my season is water is seasoned? Yeah. Let me rinse my hands off, y'all. Okay. Here I have some onions prepared. And I'm going to place them around. Dump 
constantly washing my hands, y'all. I'm going to try to get some of that green pepper into the juice of my... You can uh, do this layer a little bit into the... But it's good to cook it on top of it and get some into the juices. And it'll all come in together some kind of way. Mm-hmm. Thing is, we want to get it into that oven. Okay, y'all see that? And of course, I want to wash the edges of my pot. You want to present a nice dish. Mm -hmm. I'm going to begin to cover this. And my oven is at 375, which is good. And Get this in there. Cooked it over because I gotta put the cornbread in for dressing. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let that do what it's doing. Now let's get our green beans on. Okay. We're gonna Four. season the water. It's already boiled, boiling right now. So I pre put the I preheated the water. I gotta get the boiling. I want to put the green beans in hot boiling water. And there's your pepper. Wait till I get my ham chunks here. I love to buy these ham chunks, y'all, to cook greens and stuff with. You know. You can use what you want, smoked turkey wings or, you know, whatever you like. I love to buy these uh, cube ham chunks. They're already, you know, already made. Yeah. <laughs> Drop some in. That one boiling. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It must be turning my way. Yeah, I did. I think it is. <laughs> Okay, y'all, and Okay, now that our water is prepared for the green beans, just gonna stir it up a little bit. And I'm going to start pouring in the green beans. The ham chunks are already in. So for just enough of what we're going to use today. And these are the extra thin, fresh frozen green beans. Okay. Now they have to add some more water. It's better to have to add more water than to have too much. Have it overflowing. <laughs> so make sure we run the water hot. Very hot. So the chicken's already in. And we're running the water hot. Let's get some more water in there. There you go. So just enough, because you want that water to cook down. And then because I added more water, I'm going to season some more. So it cooks in some good seasoning. A little bit of black pepper. I'm not going to have white potatoes today because we're not having, we're having this on the side of the chicken and dressing. And I guess I'll make some gravy for that. 
I always add hot sauce to any beans or greens that I cook. It flavors the juice well. And then if they want to add extra hot sauce, they can when they eat it. Okay. So I'm just going to stir all that up, all that goodness up. Yeah. And let it just get ready to just go at it. <laughs> Bring it to a boil and let it just get ready to do what it's going to do. And get all soaking in all that goodness. And I'm going to add my frozen peppers. I always buy uh, these frozen peppers. They're uh, green, red peppers and onions mixtures and just add some in there. Not only it adds pretty color, but it adds so much flavor. Also, I like to try it in sweet corn and they do for a lot of beans. Yep, they are. They are so good for all your, your dishes. You know? You want to, you want your family to say, "Oh, that's beautiful," or your guests, or whatever you're doing. There's a big onion there. Sure. Okay, it happens. <laughs> Those are gonna be healthy and good. Yeah. And a great side for what we're cooking. So I'm going to just wipe that off. It's going to be a good side. Okay, let's let that come to a boil. And then we'll turn it down and cook those down until that water starts evaporating. And so now let's get our dressing going, y'all. You know how I always uh, prepare the cornbread. If you haven't, it's your first time viewing in, you can look on some of the other meals that I prepare where I make the cornbread with the greens and stuff, and you'll see how we how we do it here. Uh, I have about a cup and a half of cornmeal mix and uh, about a cup of white uh, self-rising flour. Mm-hmm. I'm not pulling out no gadgets today, y'all. I'm going to do some good old down-home country cooking. So I'm going to be stirring with my hand. Sometimes I just don't feel like opening the mixer and all that stuff. <laughs> I just go on and do it, y'all. Say, get this thing done. Well, when, uh, what I do is, and, 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 and what's so good about self-rising is it's already, you don't have to add the baking powder and all that, you know. So I have Splenda here instead of white sugar. I'm going to use Splenda, about a half a cup. You can measure it with the measure, or you can do just like I'm doing now. You're not you're, you're not making um, cake. You're making cornbread. I'm just going to mix that in. Get all those ingredients in. Okay, see that? I have two eggs. Now, I would say one egg if it was a smaller batch. But because I'm making a larger batch, I need two eggs. So the more you need, the more eggs you need. I'm going to add my milk slowly because I don't want to add too much. I can always add a little bit more later. Start mixing it in together. Make sure those eggs and everything gets in there. All the ingredients start tying in together. Tying in together. And then I'm going to add a little bit more milk. As you, as, as, as you get them all in together, you'll see how thick your your batter is. Mm -hmm. And a good whisk is good, too. I have plenty of them. Let's get that whisk right there. Thank you. Just 
making some cornbread so that we can have cornbread dressing. And it looks pretty good. Now I have to have oil. Cornbread has to have oil or it'll be dry. And you can also use the baking grease or whatever grease you have on the stove, which is really good for cornbread. It's good to have a good grease can or something. Save your grease as long as you put a lid on. Moisturizes your cornbread. Okay. Okay. Now that we got our cornbread all mixed up, we're going to uh, pour it into the pan. I want y'all to see that I've greased the pan. I'm just going to pour the mixture in and just make a small pan of dressing. Not too big, not too much, but just enough to go with the chicken. It's a good compliment. I love cornbread stuffing though, y'all. I always did like chicken and dressing. You know, it doesn't have to be a big turkey. Turkey's good though. <laughs> and we don't have to cover that. We just place that in the oven. Put it right next to that good chicken that's roasted. Yeah, it's low. Mm -hmm. Check on our green beans. Okay, they look like. Uh huh, smells good. Excellent. Smells good. Okay, y'all, we have removed the cornbread from the oven. And we don't want it to cook too, it's just hard, but we want it to be light and fluffy. So now I'm going to prepare the dressing right in the same pan. Um, like I said, we're just going to have a quick, good um, chicken and dressing. And I'm just going to start breaking this cornbread up. Get a nice bigger spoon that you can see at the other corner. See how light it is? See? You don't want to let it get too hard in that oven. So it's ca careful to watch it so that the bottom doesn't get too hard and crusty. But just a nice, you know, good Let's see, I'll show you some of the bottom, the bottom crust. See, it's just a nice light and you have some good crunch in there. You don't want it to get too hard. That's the trick to it. We're just crunching it up really nice and good. This is going to be some good dressing for it. And I tell you, the crunchy parts are really good in there. You don't want your bottom to get too brown and hard. And um, not be dressing. <laughs> yeah. That's the best way I could explain it, Joe. I couldn't think of nothing else. <laughs> Let's get them chopped all up. Now, what I've did was I've taken my chickens... Uh, my chicken bouillon base and I um, I've always used an Orrington Farms see the broth base and I put like um, uh, two tablespoons in uh, water I boiled it and I seasoned the broth with the lorries and the um, black pepper So I'll have the broth. I'm going to check on my chicken because I want to see what kind of broth I have on my chicken. Y'all don't look at my chocolate cake. That's another video, but that's a Happy Father's Day chocolate cake is in the oven. <laughs> I'm going to do a video on some cake, so that's another show. But there is a nice chocolate cake in there. Yes, with real chocolate, melted butter, vanilla seasoning. Look at that, y'all. Is that good? Look at the chicken coming along. That's beautiful. With all the beautiful onions and everything. Mm-hmm. That looks good. I'm going to let Pastor baste that. See if you can baste it a little bit. Get some of that. Well, that'll cup it more. You'll get more in there. Mm -hmm. 
I love that spoon. And it's roasting good. Mm -hmm. Smells good in here. <laughs> yes, it does. Happy Father's Day, you beautiful fathers. And, oh, and we're saying Happy Father's Day to Father God, yeah. who is our Father of all fathers. Yeah, and we love him. him we be yes, everything because of him. Yes, it is. Let's get someone that one in the corner there. There's a little guy in the corner by you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to put it back in. Space them out a little bit for me, please. Space them out. We don't want them too close together. Yeah. to crowd them out that we are cook evenly. Yeah. Smells good. Okay. Crack that back up. Now that one's hot, y'all. <laughs> Try to incorporate that all through there as much as I can. I tried to get the dip, I should have got a deeper dish, but this is okay. I'll make it through. I tried to get a use a deeper when you're getting the celery. Some people make the celery separate, I mean, uh, in their the dressing separate in another dish, but I try to do it right in the pan that I'm cooking in. See all that onion you taste. Mm. All that city. And y'all try no new tricks, y'all. Stick with the program. Stick with what works. Some people like a lot of sage. I never did was a fan of a lot of sage, but if you like sage, that's fine. I can I like a hint of sage, but not too much sage. The natural uh, taste of the broth and the seasonings. I like that. Of course, you have to season it. There's your lorries. No garlic powder for this. But you do want black pepper. Now this is from my Orrington here. This is the broth I made on the stove with the uh, two tablespoons of the Orrington uh, broth base, chicken broth. I'm going to add it in. And you want it moist. You don't want dry dressing. 
So I made a made sure I made a pot full so that all the cornmeal is saturated. All of it. And then you got the chicken going. You can always use some of that broth. Because why? It's already seasoned. And this is also how I make it for the holidays, Thanksgiving and different things. I like a good fresh pot of dressing. <laughs> yeah, <nothing> like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we always yeah. love the uh, turkey and dressing and oh, everything. Yeah. Smells so good. <laughs> Y'all yeah. yeah. see how nice and moist and good that is. Yeah. Yeah. See how that beautiful that is? And that all, a lot of onions and stuff is in there. So we got the seasoning. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to test my seasoning here. Mmm, delicious. So if you like sage, you can add your sage. Try not to add too much. Too much of anything is not good. But just enough if you like it. And um, basically, I think this is ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put it in uncovered. Uncovered. Watching that cake under there, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we'll. All right, now, y'all. Everything looks good. Mmm. Oh, huh. I think we're going to take this chicken out now and uh, roast it without the foil. To get it to get to brown in and uh, finish the rest of the bacon. Yeah, get that good color in there. Oh, looks good, y'all. Look at that. Mmm. Oh boy, that's beautiful. My God, that's beautiful. Nothing like good old baked roasted chicken, somebody. And some good dressing today. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And I have some gravy to that, so we'll have the gravy for that dressing. Mm-hmm. Looking good. We're going to roast that, y'all, without the covering. Yes, Lord. Looks delicious. Mm-hmm. I think it's time to take the chocolate cake out. And we're going to do a video on that one. I didn't let y'all see me baking that, but I did prepare it with the uh, real uh, chocolate baking chocolate bar and the uh, vanilla six eggs but that's going to be another video that we're going to do because it didn't have time to do everything but that that's looking good right there wow beautiful beautiful Let's look at our dressing in there pass Dressing looks really delicious. Oh, looks yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Here, hold that. Let me turn it around. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Nothing like chicken and dressing in the house. Smells so good. Oh, yes. Oh, did y'all see how beautiful it is? The color is It's almost done. So I like the good be done. Let's see. Let's look at the Okay, now I have put the 
chicken back in the sink uncovered. And so now I'm going to make the gravy that will, uh, uh, for the chicken and the dressing. Okay, so I have in here three large tablespoons of flour. And I show you all this all the time, but I'll keep doing it. Now get my water hot, very hot as I can get it, because what I need to do, see, I'm breaking it up into complex cups because I don't want lumps. And so I'm going to fill this with hot water, slowly stirring as I go, that the flour is not forming lumps. So I'm just steady stirring, 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 stirring. I'm not going to fill up any more water until I make sure I'm stirring, getting all the lumps out. And then I get a clear mixture. Now I'm going to fill it up and stir as I go with hot, 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 hot water. And this is going to be the start of my gravy. Now you see how clear it is? No lump. That's the thickener. That's the thickener, y'all. Get my pot over here. Let it heat up some. I got my broth base here. The Orrington Farms broth base chicken. You're gonna love this. It's uh, it's powdered. You're gonna have to keep opening those little cubes up all day. I'm gonna pour my gravy mixture. That's the flour and the water that I've mixed. Look how it is. You don't see the lumps. Look at there. And it's going to start thickening. Now, well, now I know how much water I want to add because that's the base of my thickener. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a nice chicken gravy for the chicken and dressing. I'm slowly adding that while I'm stirring because I'm keeping the mixture from forming any kind of lump. Mm -hmm. I guess this should be about enough. I'm going to add two tablespoons of my chicken broth. Um, bouillon. Mm -hmm. Stir well, make sure it all gets even when it's around there. Let it all get in there. Circulating. Seasoning. You can use the seasoning salt you like. I love lard. It's good. Some black pepper. I'm going to throw in some chives. Whoops. Let's help you get in. Some chives. And my Lipton onion soup mix. Lipton's onion soup mix. Of course, they got other onion soup mixes that are Lipton. You can use those too. Now, see where I'm going with that? Of course, you can add your green peppers, onions, whatever you want to do to your gravy. The soup mix will make it nice and oniony. 
Makes it really delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Some people like butter when they're using poultry. If you want to put a couple of cubes of butter in, that's okay. There. Yeah. Pretty thickening. We're watching it thicken now. fast. That's going to be over our chicken and dressing. Nice and brown, that's how you want it. Okay. And I'm gonna uh, collect some of that juice and try to get this a little bit of that juice in that gravy. Yeah. Uh huh. And let's let that keep roasting, y'all. Yeah, sure. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Look at that beautiful gravy. Look. Y'all looking at that gravy? Mmm. Nice chives in there. I'm going to let it thicken just a little bit more. I'm going to turn that off because then I'm going to pour it over the chicken. And then we can just go from there with the chicken and the, over, the, over the dressing. What y'all think? Should I leave it in the pan and let them put how much they want over the chicken and dressing? Or should I pour it over the chicken? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Well, okay, y'all. It looks really good. And I think it's about done. It looks so good, y'all. It smells so good. Oh, I'm just excited. And so now I'm going to make y'all the first plate. <laughs> I'm going to use my famous plate, y'all. <laughs> Let's get, oh, wow, this chick, look at that, y'all. Oh, my, it's so tender, it's falling apart. <laughs> Woo, y'all see that good roasted chicken, y'all. Oh, <laughs> look at that, yeah. Some of that good onions and juice in there. And what I'm gonna do is put it over here. Mm -hmm. Follow me, folks. Okay. And 
make some, get some of this uh, good dressing in there. Look at there. Mm. Look at that beautiful dressing, y'all. Cornbread dressing full of celery and onions and all the goodness. Y'all see that? Mmm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, y'all. Mm -hmm. On a Sunday. Yes, yes, yes. And let's get some dressing in there. Let me knock off some of this cornbread off the spoon. We'll use the same spoon. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Get some gravy here. Put it over there. Y'all yeah. see that? Yeah. Put some over that chicken. Mm -hmm. Let's get some of them good green beans. Ain't that beautiful? Look at those beautiful green beans. I love the real thin ones, y'all. Mm -hmm. Seek out the frozen thin ones. They're so good. Put yeah, all those yeah. good ham chunks in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can put that back in. And uh, I just want you to see there, y'all. How beautiful. Just a nice little Sunday quick, something good, you know. Make the house smell good and be a blessing. And uh, we just want y'all to have the first plate here. And uh, have that good. Okay, there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good home cooked meal. Good Father's Day meal. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And it's a rainy day. Yeah. yeah. All the problems are barbecuing. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't want barbecue, you have what you want, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had barbecue last week. We don't, we, we about tired of it. <laughs> we got to mm -hmm. wait till we want some more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, we love y'all. Mm -hmm. Happy blessed Father's Day for you good fathers out there. Yeah. And I pray the blood over each and every one of us. I, think, I pray God's protection. Mm -hmm the cover and the divine intervention for him to move by his power as only he can do in all the stubborn situations of our lives that he would get the glory be blessed and be safe and i'll see y'all next video god bless you amen